Hey, Joey Blue here, and I want to talk to you about the in clause in the SQL language. So I've already put a query up here where I'm looking at the customer table. The customer table has these six records in it, and I want to look at where customer company is Dell, or customer company is HP, or customer company is Walmart. Well, let's run that query and execute it and I get four records. Well, if I didn't want to type out customer company all of these times, I would just use what's called the in clause. And so let's show you how that works. I would type in, put a parenthesis, and then I would put all the different values I want in there separated by commas. So you can see me building this list here, and I would put another comma in. And then I would end it with a parenthesis. So if I run that, I get the exact same records. So those two are the same. So the in clause allows you to put a whole list of things that you want to use in your filter. Um, if we want to add to that, so if we want to also get the ACES customer company, then all we have to do is add to the list. And I put ACES in there, and now I'd run that, and we get ACES. If we don't want Dell in there anymore, we get rid of that. And we also have to get rid of that comma. And then I'd run it. And Dell is gone. So that's an introduction to the in clause.